become a race car driver. Seriously, probably the most common question that I get when I tell people that I race cars. First things first when prepping your car for a track day. <laughs> you gotta have the right stickers. Double donut? The double D's? Put the money along your seats, mom. Break, mom. Knock your box down. Pick her up. Knock her back. It's really not that hard. If you're not born in a family that brings you up to go racing, um, it's just about making practical steps to make it happen. Whether that's video games, to sim racing, to indoor karting, to outdoor karting, to track days, to building a race car, to club racing. Today, I'm going to show you how to do a track day. I got this borrowed ass 911. I'm not gonna complain about it. I will take good care of it though. Uh, we're heading up to Button Willow and it's about a couple hundred bucks and you get all the track time you want. The worst part about having a convertible, it's not about being cold, it's about driving by the slaughterhouses and smelling death. Don't want to pay the ten dollar a gallon track prices. <laughs> nope. Cabin. We made it. Yeah. Seriously, every other car is an M3. Thank you. Need ten dollars. Hook me up. Thank you very much. There you go. Have a good day. If you're into cars, why the f would you buy a, a drop top? Especially a drop top 911 base model. It's all right, when you start passing, everybody's but, gonna be looking at you like, what the f? With my, my hair in the wind. I wish I had an open face helmet. <laughs> Look who it is. Tony, what do you got here, dude? Hey, I made it, I got my car. Tony was up all night editing uh, the evolution of the sim racing two nights ago, and yeah. I think he's probably still recovering. I stayed up all night till 3 p.m. to edit the video, and then I took a three-hour nap, and then I got back up, and I worked on my car till 12 midnight. And then, <laughs> and then slept three hours. <laughs> and then slept three hours, and then now I'm here. Am I rolling? Tony, yeah. Tony, Tony, am I rolling? All sorts of nice cars. The most common for sure so far? Three RSs. Not mad at that. They also have a time attack class going on out here today, so you have some guys that take it a little more seriously. These guys. Time attack? It's kind of cool. I don't really get it, to be honest with you. You're gonna go to that much trouble to make your car fast. Why wouldn't you just race? I don't get it. Educate me. Time attack people, educate me. Like, why, why not go wheel to wheel? First things first, gotta make sure you bring a helmet. It's really good to invest in a nice helmet. Um, this is one of my racing helmets. It's super lightweight, it's a composite material, it's an Arai GP6. Um, I had it painted by Dust Spray Custom, one of my favorite artists ever. How's that helmet? Nice. Feel pretty right good, now. huh? The lifesaver is what it is. I like gloves no matter what I'm driving, even if it's just like a, a, a lawnmower. I just like having gloves on my hands. Yeah, Model 911. Drop top. Race tires. Nope. All lugs present and torqued. I'm gonna go ahead and make sure I, they are. Uh, engine, any fluid leaks? Not that I know of or could tell. Yes. 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 I think so. Feels good to me. Long sleeve cotton shirt. I do. Dude, I have to take my pens out of my car? Because you'll get stabbed by your pens. Sign it. This hot rod just passed tech, boys. Everybody making fun of me for my convertible. We'll see who's laughing next. 270 bucks, and I'm on track all day. Yep. And then they give you your group, sorted by skill usually. Driver's meeting. Basically going over all the rules. One thing that's cool about these is that 
they really are meant for people that have never driven before. I don't know, there's probably like 30 people in there that have never even been on a track before. And they also offer instruction. If it's your first time and you're nervous, you get paired with an instructor for your first time out on track. God bless that instructor. Many have fallen <laughs> that way. That's not really true. It, it does happen, but not at these kinds of events. <laughs> so the driver's meeting, they tell you all sorts of different things like what the flags mean, what the passing rules are, what the, the turns are on the track, where to pit in, where to pit out, how to signal other drivers, all sorts of different things. So one thing they always recommend doing at these kinds of events is to put your tow hook on your car. I think every car comes with a tow hook nowadays. Um, it's just a matter of finding it. Probably a tool kit in here with, there you go. So we got a tow hook right there. Look at this tool. What do you think that is? So you take your tow hook and uh, screw it in. So this is so if you have an incident and you need to be towed, the tow truck has something to tow. Most people s sit pretty awkwardly. It might be comfortable for you know city driving, but that usually doesn't translate to the racetrack. It's already set up for me, but I'll kind of show you. I'm pretty upright here. feel like I have a good line of sight. I like to dip the back of the bucket as low as it goes and then lift the front up as high as it goes. Seated low, I've got some support on my thighs for my pedals. I have a good brace here with my leg. I tend to sit a little closer than a lot of people. Make sure your mirrors are good. Visibility is key. Your steering wheel should be like this at all times. I mean, I think most people's kind of tendency is like this. Sometimes like this, which is the absolute worst. Right here. Everything's just right here. Another quick tip. If you're starting to drift or spin, don't chase the wheel. Let it go. The wheel will come back to you. You don't need to do any of that. It's nice and easy. Buddy, are you going to drive in a convertible or? Yeah. Down? Yeah. Nice. Yeah, but. Well. I do that as well. All right, we're going to hit it. So right now they're going to check our wristbands to make sure we're all in the right group. Anytime you're doing a track session, you always have to make sure that you're, uh, you have temperature in your tires and your brakes. It's really important, even in a street car. So we're just going to kind of figure out the course here. We got a little bit of inside. Always want to use the curves if you can. Kind of nice in a convertible. Trying to learn the track. It's really important you learn the track before you start to go fast. Always start slow. Increase the speed throughout the day. Man, this is a slow, really, really slow group. I don't know what's going on. Feel pretty hot boy in this convertible. All right, now the track is green. If you're running a stock car, or whatever car you're running, you definitely want to make sure your tire pressures are good. Tire pressures. Tony didn't even check his tire pressures. Tire he pressure seriously, again. he worked on his car yesterday and didn't, didn't <laughs> he did all this shit, but didn't even check his tire pressures. We got to check more tire pressures. The post-session tire pressures tell you a lot about your car. They're kind of like your, your secret window into how your car's handling. So when you get done with the session, the first thing you do is bring it in and check all your pressures all the way around the car. So it's still 10.20 in the morning. I've already done like, I don't know, four sessions. I've been in every run group. Um, beginner was way too slow, which obviously we knew that would happen, but uh, it was fun because I got a lot of clear track because they were all bunched up. So I actually kind of like the beginner the best. Intermediate is by far the sketchiest because everybody has fast cars and everybody thinks they're great drivers. And then advanced is pretty good. Pro tip, when you get out of the car, don't put your parking brake on. Leave it in gear, get wheel chocks, and put it in park. Just don't put your brake on. You'll feel fuse your pads to the caliber. Yeah, I'm gonna go back out. Have fun. You didn't catch me that time. <laughs> I didn't. I just, <laughs> were you out there? Yeah, I was out there. I didn't see you. I know, it was too fast. <laughs> <laughs>
This dude's on fire right now. Fully just wrecked. Whoa, where did that guy go? That was a pretty fun session. That was the first time I had a transponder on. I didn't really get a clean lap, but yeah, I think I pretty much pushed this thing about as hard as it can go. The most important part about a track day, folding chairs. We're stealing folding chairs from other people. Preparation, other people's preparation. Borrowing tools, drinking other people's beers, eating someone's sandwich. These are all things that happen at the racetrack. Killed it. Nice work. Killed it. Nice work with you guys. Oh, yeah. Killed it. Are you kidding? No, you killed it. And that's it. That's how you get into racing. You go to the track and you have fun with your friends. <laughs> I Taking ass, huh? Oh, I'm having fun. I okay. saw you like, <laughs> like dude. You're not supposed to be faster Where than me! Are you? <laughs> I'm cheating and I'm still losing! Yeah. <laughs> Is it Carrera S? No. Regular. It's a rental car. <laughs> <laughs>